Welcome to Cameron House Marina, I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. This is the twin engine variant of Bavaria's 2018 S33 hardtop. A pair of Volvo Penta D3 220 horsepower diesel engines make this a performance variant of the Bavaria S33. This one comes back to us having been sold by us brand new in 2019 to our single previous owner with fresh water use only. The oversized extended swim platform is covered in teak. You have, to keep the line to the boat nice and streamlined, you have your telescopic boarding ladder which is actually built into the frame of the platform at the back. If you're in the water, press the button and it will drop down. You've got full walk around capability to the port side, electricity hookup, and then if we go around to the starboard, you can see full, full walk around capability as well. Now, to blend everything in, nice design features, you've got grey canvas, you have a silk grey radar arch pillar, and then you also have that silk grey hull band that goes all the way round to the bow. It's big enough to get a couple of deck chairs out here on the platform. If anyone's swimming, you can rinse them off with the transom shower that is just here. Dogs, pets, your least favourite children, you can seal them into the cockpit with that. If you have dogs, I know a lot of them like to jump off while well, underway, that should stop them from doing so. In regards to sociability, the Bavaria S33 probably has one of the best cockpits available. You can get 11 people around this U-shape here and your driver and your navigator as well. That will drop down to turn this into a day bed should you want to. And a lot of people akin this to a Sea line SC35 and we all know just quite how popular they were. Probably one of the mainstay features of this is the sliding roof. Now that keeps the rain out in the winter time and it brings the sun in in the summer. So it's like dropping the top in a convertible car. You don't have any of the hassles that you get with canvas roof boats, such as this, because you can just literally with one arm slide the whole thing back and it lets that through flow of air when you're underway. You can open these back sections of the canvas and that just lets the air and the sunlight come in. Your navigator can stand like this on the raised platform, look out over the bow and enjoy the bow waves and the scenery while you're under propulsion of those twin D3s. Cockpit wet bar, so you've got these three stainless steel cup holders. We have a hot and cold sink. This little unit just pops up like that. The vent down below is for the onboard Everspacker system. A Dometic fridge, small freezer compartment up there for ice. And then this is just a wet bar storage area with a drain if you want to make any cocktails. What we'll do is we'll drop this down. This will turn into a double bed. Excellent area to unwind when you whip all these canvases off. The sun will just beam directly down onto that. Can have a look at it from a different angle. Excellent. Now on to the helm position. Seat has the bolster, we'll push that down. We've got our twin throttles because it is the twin engine option. Electronic throttles, trim tabs just in front, your Volvo EVC information, fuel tank gauge, underwater lights, blowers for if it gets misty up at the bow. You then have these very small nighttime LED lights that run the entire way throughout the bow. We'll show you more on them later on. Bow thruster, fusion stereo control, master switchboard for the 12 volt, and then our Garmin GPS map 7408 is the model number of that. GPS plotter and also sonar as well. Dials in front of you, analog dials, but you can also link everything up via this should you want to, and then our twin wipers. Electric anchor winch up at the bow as well, and then four deck bearing cushions. We'll come on to that in just a minute. Let's just take one sort of final peek of the cockpit from a different angle. We'll walk the entire way around. I did take my shoes off before doing this. Now let's have a look downstairs. You really wouldn't know unless you looked at the hull number, especially when you come down here. You really wouldn't know that this is not brand new. So it's one of only two that I've seen. Typically these come with the light ash finish. For the joinery, this has the dark walnut joinery upgrade. And look how elegant, classy. That makes the entire boat feel. Works so well in conjunction. Everything's dark joinery-wise. You have your light upholstery and all the natural light coming through all these skylights. Look at that. Look at all the natural light and all the ventilation that you have on board. Now on the subject of light, so you have your, your floor mood lighting, then also your ceiling mood lighting. So if I just turn that one off there, now you can... Press and hold a dimmer switch in the bulkhead and that will dim that down. You then have the same again on the floor. 
just like so. So you can dim both of them to set the ambience depending on what it is you want to do in the evening time. Big L shape, you'll get four or five round that. Again, a dark walnut table. Just in here, we have our 230 volt AC panel, 12 volt mini panel. Fusion stereo with Bluetooth and then a USB and also aux plug in there. Now, above on the port side, we have three small lockers and on the starboard, just above the galley, you've got two larger ones. That one is compatible for a microwave if you want to put a microwave in there. Everspacker, warm air heating system. And then if we just take a peek from this angle, gives you an idea of what it looks like looking back towards the engines of the aft cabin and also the toilet. High quality quartz Corian worktop, that was an upgrade on the vessel. We then have our twin gas burner. So if you're out at sea, you will just get a whistling kettle, fill it up with water and you can get a cup of tea or coffee, depending on your tipple of choice. Underneath here is our stainless steel hot and cold sink. Hot water from the engine, also from the calorifier. The galley has its own dedicated fridge with a small freezer compartment. And as I said, this one here is compatible. If you want, you can put a microwave in there, run some wiring down, and that will give you a microwave when you are connected to shore power. You also then have a 230 volt socket just up against the bulkhead. Now the forward berth, you can underneath flick this switch, that will flip up and that will extend the berth. And you can see just like that there, now you can get a nice double sheet over that. It gives the owners the option of sleeping out here where it's a little bit airier, you have more space. So some people, if they suffer a little bit from claustrophobia and you don't like tighter spaces, although the aft cabin is very well appointed in this, it just does give you that option. You then have more shelves here with light switches, sockets, storage just above in the recessed wells there. You can hear creaking, that isn't my bones. Reading lights on either side, and then we'll take a look back throughout the cabin. Perfect. Let's move on. We'll head into the head. Electric plus C toilet. There's also a waste tank fitted to the boat with a macerator. Your shower has its own faucet and its own control, so you don't have to bother with that whole kerfuffle of pulling the tap faucet out. Underneath you have some storage, just here and a toilet brush, hot and cold water, and then more shelves here, here, and that section also opens. Now, if you want to put any shampoo toiletries, you'll notice that there's a rail here that just stops things from falling over while you are underway, and a very small private skylight that will stop anyone from seeing in, but just gives you enough natural light. Allowing you to do your business. We've all been there before. If you're walking around in the dark, it's late at night and you turn the lights on, it hurts your eyes. So that should just give you a little bit of natural light from the outside. Again, in the toilet, it's fresh, it's clean. There's no bad smells, no bad stains. You can see from here, all has been well sanitized and well taken care of. Now by slightly offsetting, offsetting the door, it gives us this almost hallway effect feel into the aft cabin, which makes it feel a lot bigger. We've got hanging locker storage. Next to that are three stacked shelves. And then underneath this is shoe storage. No doubt for your shoes. Flip flops, let's be enthusiastic. Summer's on its way. This may seem like an oversized armchair. If you look at it, the chaise lounge. Now you can remove both of these sections because they are freestanding, as you'll see, because they make the bed a double. Up at the back, you've got a reading light, down lights again, those mood lights just coming in from underneath the eaves, single spotlight, mattresses in immaculate condition, carpets to give it a little bit of warmth. There's a vent in here as well, so you have that diesel heating that comes through, an electric socket. And then more shelves here and here. Now you'll see with the oversized armchair, if we just remove each of the sections, pop that down, put that back into place, take this section off as well. Oh. Two pieces of the jigsaw that go together, turn that from sort of two singles or semi-singles into a complete double. And then you could get a small child down and along this as well. I have seen it done before. Very well appointed cabin, loads of space for a 33 footer. And when you compare it to the SC35, which although was two and a half feet bigger, this feels roomier, cleaner, 
and better appointed. Let's have a look at the bow. Removable four deck sunbathing cushions on the bow. It's a waterproof material so you can leave them up, they will fasten onto the deck but it is always best practice to take them downstairs and out of the elements. Centre hatch there you'll see is disjointed because that is removable because your escape hatch for the saloon is underneath that and it's lots of pretty small details that paint the good nice clean and elegant picture. And look at these small LED lights that go all the way up from about midship all the way up to the bow where the electric anchor winches. So that is all chain underneath and then we've got a big delta up on the bow. We'll take one final peek into the cockpit from, from through the roof and then let's finish up with our engines. There's enough space for a big lump like me to physically sit in the engine bay here. Twin D3 220, some manufacturer's warranty still remaining on this. Fresh water use only under 100 hours, 96 hours worth of use. But loads of space in here, you can see you can keep a tender in there as well. Let's finish up. The Bavaria S33 it is our best-selling Bavaria model to date. These are the most popular option of choice. They're the perfect size that you can get in everywhere that you need to. And then also it gives you plenty of offshore power and competence. They had a number of different diesel engine options. So you had the D3, uh, D6 370. That was a single engine option, which was superseded by the 380. And then you also had the twin engine option. So this with the D3 220s is by far the superior model when it comes to offshore power and performance and versatility. Because of where we are in the fresh waters of Loch Lomond, the vast majority of people actually just went with a single D6 because it was a heck of a lot cheaper than this. With this having done a little bit of its depreciation, it makes it so much cheaper than a brand spanking new version. With the same spec, with twin engines, you're looking at over £350,000, including the VAT. Single owner from new, sold by us, brand new, fresh water use only and some manufacturer's warranty with the engines. Sounds like a winning formula to me. I'm Ruben from Rainsail, Scotland. We're fun in the water. Begins.